Good day, gentlemen. This video is about a request, uh, a matter of fact, two requests from uh, two different uh, viewers, which uh, which are owner of uh, these uh, of, uh, nice uh, built uh, Mahindra Emax uh, 20S HSD tractor. Right. These owner, like me, my, myself, have. You see here the subframe, that subframe is built for the backhoe, uh, like on my video, it's to hook the backhoe in place, like the, that's the bottom uh, to uh, pin out, and this is the pin you need to slide in. However, what happens is when you have uh, this uh, subframe installed into your tractor, it's interfering with the three point attachment and where it is interfering it's here as you go up you will touch and this one is approved there is a, i rub it a couple of time and what you have to do to uh, to have the able to fully raise and lower your three point attachment i'm going to demonstrate that is you need to disconnect the uh, the top one here simply by removing the pin i'm going to put it in a higher position and show you a good example and just turn it so you need to disconnect there and there and just turn it and uh, i will uh, show you to that and that way this piece here it's not longer in inward it's all uh, it's not outward but inward so that way that pin in here will be able to lift fully at this full extent so you need to switch them that way you will be able to fix to give you an idea of course this it's adjustable so you have uh, this uh, the distance between from the inside from inside right now i've got uh, 27 but i can get i can go uh, much larger so i will show you that uh, today on my video all right stay along cheers So gentlemen, in order to perform that uh, modification, so you will be able to raise your uh, your three point each attachment, is you need uh, simply uh, a good set of uh, <laughs> wrenches and uh, and uh, also uh, you need to raise the three point to be able to switch that. So I'm gonna start the tractor, just raise it. So this part here is. Uh, this part here is about right there, so it's clear to uh, when to remove the pin. Okay, so I do that right now. You can see when I was always almost up, it's touching. All right, but at least you will be able to raise it higher than. And now you raise it quite high. All right. So as soon as you clear that, then you should you can shut down. So right now you're the perfect. Uh, you have more place to uh, to do the to remove it and do switches. So I will do that right so now. You simply disconnect the uh, the lower ink. Right in here. And a good idea. To give you more flexibility, you just have to. Uh, whoop. You can lose your. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Oh, it's already loose. So, start again, you need to lose these first, so you can have a better, and then you can remove that. And what you need to do, you see the shape is got, when they arrive, you move the top, when they arrive, they are like this. And what happened, if you put a, a number one mode, 
you see it's already banging on there so and here it's clear so that's what I've done is uh, I simply take that did the put it on the other way and just work on like this and put the open like this so making nose here then you uh, you do the switch like that you, you turn it reconnect everything and uh, don't forget to uh, put the washer and the uh, the pin and voila all right so that will give you a, that way you'll be able to raise it higher and lower and you, and you can see here then uh, it took me a while to figure out because I had the snow blower attached in the back and here there's the the mark it was touching uh, it was uh, touching right here and also here so by doing that I gained at least a, a good uh, six inches an hour so that uh, that fixed that problem quite easy now uh, uh, there's a gentleman his name is Patrick Ray he bought himself a, a, a type one uh, a type one rear attachment and he was asking me how large i can go so i'm gonna lose it the maximum i can give you an id all right so i'm just gonna disconnect that one right now like I just told you before, it's uh, 27 from the inside, from inside, and uh, I can go a little bit, uh, a bit, a bit more. Just give me one second. It can go almost 28 and a half. All right, 28 and a half. So uh, that gave you an idea. Uh, what type of implement you can put it's the uh, it's meant for type 1 implement it does except because of the uh, the back or rear attachment you cannot raise it above all right uh, more uh, because you see the arm give you an ID if I was removing this everything is clear so I'm gonna start the tractor I'll just show you Now the, uh, for the maximum, give you an ID. Now it's the, uh, that is my snow blower attachment. It's meant for that, so the maximum I can put, <laughs> it's 16 and a half inches, all right? Now I never, my snow blower never need to, be, to get higher than that. And uh, so most of the time, here right now, that's why they put the stopping plate right there. The reason why they put that, uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's right there. The reason they put these uh, stopper, basically those bumper, is because it's the maximum height for the driving shaft not to break. You know, there's a maximum angle you can drive a driving shaft. A PTO shaft, sorry. So uh, that's why they put that on the lower. It's no problem, but higher. That's why they put these. Uh, it doesn't come with the back hole. It's just for the rear snow blower. So that's why. So with this, I'm able to go like I just told you. I'm going like that. It's 24. And if I go a little bit lower. Like this, then I can go to uh, yes, 27 uh, and half. All right. So uh, of course, all right. So at the lowest point from the ground, it's around seven inches. And if I go at the, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the three point uh, this uh, bar. Right 
nice touching. All the knee and the bar. All right, that's safe. So I will be at at 17 inches from 7 to 17. So I get a, a 10 inches of plate. So uh, that's good. That's a, a category one attachment here. That that bar, which is again 27. All right. Now the, the reason why I brought the uh, crescent wrench is uh, just to, uh, usually what I do is I just put the, a small one to lock it and then I use the other crescent wrench to uh, lock those uh, locking bolts. Uh, so any owner of a backhoe on that type of tractor, uh, you need to, you really need to switch. And I already talked to the, uh, the mechanic. At the, where, at the dealership where I bought those, those good folks there, they, they sent a message to the technical uh, and, uh, in Marindra in Canada and uh, to let them know that hey, you need to switch that because that was robbing pretty pretty good. When I didn't discover that with my snowblower, but when I did reinstall the uh, the back hole last year, that's why I did I did it myself. I just switched it. So I had uh, yes. So I hope. Uh, I think uh, Patrick Ray. I, I hope, sir, that they, that answer your question. Any owner or of uh, or this fine tractor, I have a question. Please email me, uh, send me a text, or uh, I would put my email on my uh, description box. And uh, I'm glad to do a video to help you guys, just to let you know that these are a great tractor. The only uh, problem I have with them because I'm using the industrially and uh, commercially almost it's my rear backhoe I've been uh, you, you see all my videos and all the both big rocks is they have the weakest point is and torque all the 38 bolts and nuts especially the one on the top here I completely forgot these one like the one who attached the rope or link it to the attachment of the back hole here. So everything was loose and that's why it was moving. And so it's not 20 hours, it's every 9 hours you need to uh, to torque that. But again, most of the folks don't use that much their back hole. Me, I'm using it extensively and there's uh, many works to do. So that's why my good friend Joe uh, will uh, build up, uh, will build and I will... Uh, we will make a good video about it so you guys have a good idea how, how, uh, how Joe is going to make and uh, make a design and everything. So, that's it for now. Enough talking. And if you have any more questions on the tractor, well, just email me. All right. Cheers, guys.